And happening here on the coast, Coast Con 45 returning to the Mississippi Coast and uh, Coliseum and Convention Center. This is the state's longest running and largest nonprofit fantasy, science fiction, and gaming conviction convention. Stephanie Poole stops by to check out the fandom. Deadpool, Harley Quinn, and other anime characters fill the Mississippi Coliseum for the 45th annual Coast Con. Gulf Coast gamers search for top-notch comic books and the origins of stories. Tiffany Brown says the fandom has grown since 1977. Now we have everything from author guests that come every year. We have artists, we have an art show, we have actors that come and give autographs. So it's become a, a, a much larger thing. Folks have the opportunity to meet guests from Star Wars to the Power Rangers. That's not all. T-shirts, buttons, figurines, and other merchandise is up for grabs. Noah Childers creates acrylic portraits of faces you've probably seen before. Yeah, but fan art is mainly, you know, DC, Marvel, things like that. Also do, like, kind of on an impressionism side. Blow in the dark art, you know, stuff like that. But cosplay and contests aren't the main reasons why most come. It's about community. Coastcon is like a reunion every year almost. I mean, we see there's a lot of us who do different conventions around the Gulf South. And so it's fun to see each other and it's a good way to catch up from time, you know, catch up with people you haven't seen in a while, talk about what they've done, who they've seen at other cons, and it's it's a really great environment. I'm telling you, there's something about comic conventions that just really bring out the best in people. You know, it's just like you can walk around and just be a kid again. It's so great. In Biloxi. Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now. People could also purchase merchandise of their favorite characters or dress up for the cosplay contest. Coast Con ends Sunday at 5.